You looking at me? Huh? You looking at me? Is this yours? Is this yours? Don't look so freaked out. I'm not going to do anything to you. <laughs> Today. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Fan Mail Episode 3. And holy shit, you guys have smashed the P.O. Box. Look at this. It's unbelievable. I, I cannot wait to dive in and see what kind of sick, twisted things may be in some of these packages. I've got a heavy one, I've got a light one, I've got some squishy ones, and I've got some lettery ones. I'm super excited. Let's do it. I'm going to have to move some of these over. Let's uh, slide these over here and let's let's get started. What do we have in this bad boy? Oh yeah buddy, a sticker! Now we're talking. What's up Smo? Here's one of my stickers for your sticker wall. I'm working on sending you a cow. Please don't send me a cow. I'll tell you what, send me X cow. Send me, send me Biltong. Biltong is one of my favorite things in the world, dude. God, I love it. If a cow turns up in your PO box, I'm sorry, but hey, free milk. Dude. Why didn't I think of that? Keep up the awesome videos, you're an inspiration. You're an inspiration, George. You're an inspiration, bro. It's shit like this and people like you that make me keep doing these videos. So, massive thank you for your sticker behind bars. Check him out on YouTube. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Thank you, buddy. That's awesome. Can't wait to use it. Thank you. This one feels a little weighty. This feels like the kind of letter you get from the government that says, Hey, by the way, we spent all your pension on a new Jaguar for the Prime Minister, so um, go fuck yourself. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Oh, we do have a letter. We do have a letter. Yo, Smo, please find and close some flyers for the bike event in June. Looking forward to meeting you and Badger. Regards, Bailout's mum. No kidding. That's amazing. For those of you that aren't aware, TBBS Bailout is a buddy of mine, fellow YouTuber, subscriber, and um, he's helping to organise the Chroma Festival of a thousand bikes. Rock concert, music, upcoming local rock bands, 10th and 11th of June this year at Sheringham and Chroma Lions Club. I will throw them around. Good luck with your festival. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Thank you. We've got a squidgy one right here. I like the squidgy ones. <laughs> what is it? Is there a letter in here? What is this? Jelly Willies. It's a shame the box got a little squished, but that's... <coughs> Eat a bag of dicks. Do you want to find out who sent you these dicks? Turn around to find out more. Share it on social media and see if they have the balls to admit it was them. Hashtag dicks by post. Whoever you are, you have a sense of humour that I can get behind. I would get behind you if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> It'd be interesting to find out just how many dicks I can get in my mouth at any one time. There have been guesses before. Thank you so much for the bag of dicks. This one I'm particularly worried about. For those of you that are familiar with a man called V-Twin Vlogster, he made a video where he went around his apartment putting things in the P.O. Box bag. Now, I hope to God that it was fake, because he put some nasty shit in that bag. I won't tell you what it was, I'll let it be a surprise, but go check out the video in the description. I gagged, is all I'm going to say. When he was putting shit in that bag, I was gagging. I hope that he hasn't actually sent what he was going to send. God damn it, V-Twin. I'm so scared, bro. I'm so scared. Please tell me you, there's, there isn't, like, socks in here, a used condom, and all that, all that good stuff. What have we, what is this? Oh my god, I see cream eggs. Oh my god, I see cream, dude, this man knows me so well. I love those. Are they better than whispers? I don't know. Are they on par with whispers? Apps are fucking lootly. What, what is this? I can't open it. Uh, trivia on the loo. Facts and trivia to boggle the mind. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh, he wrote in it! Keep calm and keep writing, I love that. V-Twin Vlogs though, there'll be a link in the description to his channel. Go and check him out, show him some love, because he's shown me some, he deserves some in return. Thank you for the stickers, my friend. They are definitely going on the sticker wall. I love it. I couldn't find any paper, so this book will have to do. Really? The amount of shit this man found in his apartment, and he couldn't find paper. Thanks for making awesome content, and being the glue that holds our weird little community together. Dude, I'm not the glue. I'm not the glue. You guys are the glue. Much bro love and slightly homo love. I should fucking think so. P.S. Yes, I've read this book while pooping. Oh, wow. So there is actually some poop articles on here from Mr. V-Twin himself. The man himself has shat on this book. What you done to it here, dude? <laughs> 
Did you slam it in the toilet seat? A baby's nappy will need to be changed as many as 10,000 times before it's potty trained, as a parent can confirm. We also have a disgustingly useful little multi-tool here. Does it have a ratchet as well? It does. Mate, that's, that's incredible. That's so cool. I love it. It's just the right size for me to just pop it up my anus too. And now this, if you guys aren't... Oh, it's open at the top. Okay, that explains it. This stuff is absolutely incredible. It's like a moldable glue, right? It comes out kind of like um, Play-Doh, if you ever played with that as a kid. And you warm it up in your hands, form it to whatever shape you want, and then once it's dried, it's like firm rubber. It will glue anything to anything, or you can use it to make shapes. I even used it to repair my car keys once. Massively versatile stuff. Thank you so much, dude. By the way, I was burping all the way through saying those few sentences. So if they sound weird, eh, that's my bad. Lunch can fuck off. I'm having all five of those and my bag of dicks. Dude, you're a legend. Legend. You're a legend. Thank you so much. All right. Was there a note on here? No. Hopefully there's one inside. I see blue and I see some yellow. What is this thing? What is... Okay. <laughs> what is this? Smo, I had trouble finding someone that's willing to post a cow to a peer box. Here's a smaller blue not alive cow. Perfect! I hope this is okay until I can find a suitable bovine feed of milk from behind bars. Where is his sticker? So, Mr. Behind Bars not only forwarded on a sticker, he forwarded on a legitimate inflatable cow. I'm going to blow this up. Oh my goodness. How big is it? You guys are going to have to excuse me for a minute while I uh, put my mouth all over its undercarriage. Well, the man certainly wasn't fucking kidding, was he? <laughs> the fact that the colours are nuts just makes it so much better. I have to know if this actually makes a moo noise, though. Huh? I actually shit myself. <laughs> oh god, it keeps going. The glory of it. Dude, it's perfect. It deserves a place in the background of every video that I ever make ever again. Dude. It's so stupid that it's brilliant. Thank you. I will find somewhere to put this. It will have pride of place among my most prized possessions. Next, the box that is lighter than light. Okay, we're getting there. We're making some progress. I need much better package opening tools. You know what? There's an example right there of if anyone was going to send me anything that would be extremely useful, I would super appreciate some kind of knife to open these boxes. Something a little better than this. This is okay, but it struggles a little sometimes with the bigger stuff. Let me just listen. Is this a cricket? Okay, thank God I don't hear any signs of life from in there. Let's open this super slow in case there's any kind of Indiana Jones style corrosive salt that's just going to burst out into my face and melt it. Dun dun dun! It's a goddamn crow. <laughs> oh, they put googly eyes on. Can, <laughs> can you see the, the googly eyes? That's so creepy. I feel like it's following me when I look around. It's the crow that haunts Spicy 110, isn't it? This is a message. This is the equivalent of like a horse's head in your bed. That's what this is. It has an anus. Thank you. I accept your message of a swift and painless death in my sleep in the next few weeks. I have just have one thing to say to you, and that is, do you dare brave my cat? Because she'll be watching, and she'll be waiting from the shadows. Something to think about. Thank you so much for the crow. Funny, in fact, that I got two animals this time. I got a bag of dicks, Two animals. Now this one... This one is heavy. I do believe this came from Mr. Count Mift. He's an awesome guy, and I urge you guys to check out his channel. I'll put a link to him in the description. He's packed it well. There's no blood leaking in the bottom corners of the box. So well done to you, sir. You've clearly experienced in hiding body parts. All right, dude. Why am I so nervous when I open these? What is this? Hoping 2017 is your year, bud, from Count Myth. Dude, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I really do. I'm hoping it is as well. Oh. Oh, there's lots of things moving in here. What is this? The 80s decade box. Wow, an amazing smell just came out of that. Like a super amazing smell. What was this? Ace Sweets from your 80s childhood. No kidding, really? Oh, that's premium. That feels good. Oh my god. I 
just came. Wow. Oh my god, I remember these. Holy hell, dude, where did you find this? Caramac, fizz whizzes, the drumstick lollies. Oh my goodness, cola cubes, holy sh- Oh my god, I used to eat a lot of these. The white mice, I remember those. Whams, purple violets, oh my good god. I just, I have to stop there and say, you guys are aware that I'm trying to go to a track day in April, and I need to fit into my one piece in like a month's time, and you motherfuckers have sent me a bag of dicks, cream eggs, and the most sugar I've ever seen in one place, ever. <laughs> you motherfuckers. This is something else, dude. Wow. There's just, there's absolutely no way that I can sit here today and not eat any of this stuff. It's just, it's not possible. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? It's a crow. What do you think? How do you feel about the crow? How about I put him right here? Look, look at the crow. 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 Look at it. No? This is her warning to you, Mr. Crow. She's not scared of your bullshit. Look at all this diabetes. Diabetes has never tasted so good as what's in this box. Thank you so much, Mr. Mift. You're a nice guy slash bastard. V-Twin, you are a nice guy slash bastard. And Dick Man, or woman, you are a nice person slash bastard. And also a massive thank you to the rest of you. Thank you to Bailout's mum. Thank you to Behind Bars. Thank you to the Crow Man or woman. You guys are the best. An enormously successful and super exciting fan mail episode number three. Thank you guys so much for sending things in. I've been Smo. You guys have been awesome. If you liked the video, please do punch the like button. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.